what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Let's, uh, let's dive in to a shocking uh, Saturday Down South report from yesterday as uh, Matt Hayes, Matt Hayes CFB, a very good college football reporter, um, is citing unnamed sources saying that the Trojans, the men of Troy, have been running scared for nearly two years when it comes to this LSU football game. Uh, yeah, that's right. According to Matt Hayes, USC has been trying to get out of playing LSU in Las Vegas to open the season for over two years. And the main reason cited is that quite simply, Lincoln Riley didn't want the game. Now, to be clear, this would have been scheduled pre-Lincoln Riley even at USC, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure this has been on the books for, for years now. Like, I remember, I think this was like 2019 when we first heard about this, 2020. So the reason why I want to get that timeline straight is because I think that that uh, provides credibility to Hayes' take, right? Uh, Lincoln Riley shows up, and he doesn't want the game. He doesn't see necessarily the benefit for USC. Uh, maybe, you know, even a couple of years ago, he's looking at his roster, and he's thinking, okay, you, you're going to tell me the first game post Caleb Williams, I have to take on uh, LSU. Uh, and apparently Lincoln has kind of tried to get a lot of different parties involved in canceling this game. USC's offered up a lot of different opponents. Uh, USC even got Fox Sports involved because apparently Fox Sports is not too pleased that uh, USC's first game as a member of the Big Ten, uh, in which Fox has very close ties with, will be on ABC slash ESPN. Um, LSU said, no, thank you, Fox. That's fine. Well, where did Lincoln go next? He shares an agent with Trace, uh, excuse me. He shares an agent with Brian Kelly. They both have Trace Armstrong. Apparently Lincoln recruited Trace Armstrong to try to convince Brian Kelly to, uh, back out of this game to which Kelly said, uh, no, thank you, sir. We will not be doing that. And it's kind of funny because yesterday in the interview that Jake and Dorian and the series crew did with Brian Kelly, he actually said, uh, me and Lincoln have the same agent, and he certainly doesn't want us to play this game. Talking about Trace Armstrong, again, leading further credibility to uh, to, to Matt Hayes' report here. And look, we've, we've talked about it at length. Um, this is a, 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 a stunningly similar game for these two teams, right? Uh, two teams with $10 million brand new head coaches are supposed to lead them into the new era. Both coaches had excellent to dumpster. Both coaches had excellent 10 win seasons to start their first year. Um, Lincoln obviously took a huge step back. Kelly kind <clears> of <throat> did not step back, just stayed um, where LSU was already at. But uh, now both schools replacing Heisman Trophy winning quarterbacks, trying to fix defenses that were god awful. Remember, USC's defense was actually better than you last year, just to provide some context there. Um, and, and both teams desperately need to set the tone for a good season with this first game. And here's what Brian Kelly said, quote, both teams are going through a reboot on defense. Look, I haven't won an opener since I've been here. It's an important game for us. And I know they want to get off it as a good start as well. I would ask you this. Am I giving myself over to hyperbole when I pose the question, is this the biggest game of Brian Kelly's LSU career? Um, and let's take a look, right? Uh, yeah, not biggest win. The biggest win is undoubtedly Alabama at home. Massive. You never beat Alabama in Tiger Stadium. We all know that, right? But it, it's a bit odd because going into that game, it didn't feel that big of a deal. That you, you didn't know that would uh, you, you 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 or actually did you know that was going to let you win the West if you won that game? I'm trying to think back. Or did Alabama have to lose a game after that? It might have you set were, you up you to win the West. For the West. Yeah, you yeah, were tied West. So, so, okay, so I would say maybe that's the argument there is that that Alabama game could have been pretty big as well, knowing the West is there. But with the unstoppable behemoth that was Georgia, it's not like winning the West felt overly impactful at any given time. Um, I think the context of losing both season openers in the manner that you did to Florida State, in which not only did you really get handled, both times, but you just did not know your team at all. It seems like coming out of camp. Now, you made some nice adjustments afterwards, but it was a really piss-poor showing both years in a row. I think with that context, 
with the need to have a really good year this year with a relatively friendly schedule as far as this new look SEC goes uh, with a UCLA matchup looming. I think there's a lot of reasons why this is a must win for Brian Kelly and and the impact that it can have in terms of determining the the the, the temperature of the fan base, uh, the vibe of the season, the confidence of Garrett Nussmeyer. I, I quite frankly, I think it's absolutely massive. And yes, even though he's coached in an SEC championship with LSU, I kind of think that this is a bigger deal. I mean, you're favored by six and a half points. You should absolutely beat a USC team that is similar to you, only I believe less talented overall. Um, They have a lot of the same weaknesses, and they don't have a Garrett Nussmeyer. Miller Moss had a nice bowl game, but go watch Miller Moss play in that bowl game. It's not exactly great quarterback play. It's a lot of throw it up and hope for the best, and Miller Moss's receivers came through for him. I have no problem saying that I think that Garrett Nussmeyer will be markedly better than Miller Moss this year. Though, again, under Lincoln Riley's tutelage, maybe Moss has a nice year, but Garrett Nussmeyer has better physical tools. And here's what Brian Kelly said about Garrett Nussmeyer in that piece yesterday, or in that interview with uh, with Sirius. Quote, what I'm most excited about this transition is that you're going to go from a Heisman Trophy winner to maybe one of the best leaders that I've had here at LSU. He does all the little things the right way, and not because he wants to be patted on the back as a great leader, but because he just naturally does them the right way. It's really going to be exciting to see this team move to f- move towards Garrett Nussmeyer as its starting quarterback. So Kelly obviously very pleased with the guy that is going to be replacing the Heisman Trophy winner in Jaden Daniels. And uh, again, that game one is going to be huge for building off of what Nussmeyer did against Wisconsin and for trying to uh, set the tone for what needs to be a 10-win season. You know, I mean, the I, I think, again, the floor is 9-3 regular season, 10 wins of the bowl game. But honestly, if you manage 10 regular season wins, which I don't know if I would say is more likely than not, but is definitely not, you know, it's not like some super long shot. If you manage 10-2, and two, you will make a 12-team playoff. But guess what? You can't get to 10-2 and two if you lose to USC. So it's all going to be on the line week one in Vegas. And guess what? We now know that the Trojans, the men of Troy... They've been running scared. Okay. So go, go, go prove it to them. You know, don't, don't let this report come out and then blow it to them. Okay. Go show them why they were right to run, why they were right to try to get Fox to move the game, why they were right to reach out to Trace Armstrong to move the game. Prove it to them that they were correct to be scared. Wow. Jake, what incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, Again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications we post every single day here on OTB LSU.